हेलो एवरी वन हाव आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड टूडे आई एम हियर विद द वीडियो विच विल हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड द करंट एनर्जीज नाउ टुमोरो इज द सेवन सेवन पोर्टल बिकॉज टुमोरो इज सेवेंथ ऑफ जुलाई एंड द ईयर इज ऑल्सो नंबर सेवन सो इट बिकम्स सेवन 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 विच इज़ वेरी स्पिरिचुअल नंबर ऑल्सो आई वॉज गेटिंग रदर आई वॉज सीइंग अ सॉन्ग कंटिन्यूअसली कॉल्ड नमो नमो जी शंकर एंड सिंस क्वाइट सम टाइम I can feel the Shiva energies are prominent in the collective. So I am here with this guided video to let you know the current energy updates and the messages. I was guided to deliver. So as we all know, the energies were quite intense from the six six portal, and the energies will continue in the month of July as well. However, the energies will be more spiritual. during this point of time as seven represents spirituality and as the shiva energies are very prominent in the collective we all as a collective will be diving deep into ourselves we will feel to connect more with our inner inner selves we will follow more spiritual practices or we will follow whatever we are following spiritually in a at a very deeper level i would say i am seeing a vision of sea but it is not at the surface level it is at very depths of it where light is not reaching so there are shadows there is, there is darkness and i have already given this message in the 66 portal energy update video as well but it is going much deeper with the 77 portal now and the energies are more spiritual so if we are not dealing with the deepest of the emotions within ourselves so we will have to face them and we will face them and we will heal them and we will ascend spiritually with that bold step i'm getting the vibes of samudra manthan 
so as we all know when samudra manthan happened the water will start revolving so similarly we can observe lot of chaos lot of turbulence in the outside world but as during the samudra manthan lord vishnu came to provide the foundation in the form of a tortoise the samudra manthan was performed similarly even though the energies outside or maybe the situations outside are very much chaotic but still if we stay rooted within ourselves if we stay connected with our inner self with the divine consciousness we will be able to go through it and at this point of time as in the samudra manthan amrut came out of it similarly the halahal the poison also came out of it so be ready to witness many good things as well as lot of shadows or lot of darkness will also come out in the picture as this is the seventh month a very spiritual month also it is in the hindu calendar it is considered as adhik mas so the spiritual energy is still get intensified and whatever spiritual practices we follow during this time these are fruitful we will able to ascend we will able to connect with our higher selves so we will be if we work on connecting with our true selves we will be able to identify who we really are what are our soul gifts and amrut is representing that also as i already mentioned lot of darkness or shadows may also come to the surface and as we all know lord shiv ji was only person able to take in that halahal and balance it and what shiv ji represents or teaches us is to be in the state of zero to be neutral to be unbiased to be non judgmental and still keep doing what we are supposed to 
सो बी इन दट शिव एनर्जी कनेक्ट टू द शिव एनर्जी सो दैट वी विल एबल टू एक्सेप्ट वॉट एवर इज कमिंग थ्रू यू कैन ऑल्सो लिसन टू द सॉन्ग नमो नमो जी शंकरा क्लोज युअर आईज सेट विथ युअर सेल्फ एंड देन लिसन टू इट एंड फील द वाइब्रेशन फील द शिव एनर्जी यू कैन ऑल्सो चैंट ओम नम शिवाय और ओम ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम ऑल्सो आई एम गेटिंग If you can do any classical dance form or any dance form, that will be really helpful to channelize the energies. Because during this time, as the spiritual energies are rising, we will get lot of downloads. i'm seeing the rains pouring onto the earth similarly lot of spiritual downloads will be poured onto all of us so it will be overwhelming so grounding is very important and doing this dancing will help us ground will help us to let the energies flow through us also if you can dance on shiv tandav stotra that will be really helpful you can also go and connect with the rains connect with the wet ground that will also be really helpful i'm also getting lot of emotional cleansing will be happening during this time as this is cancer season lot of emotions will be coming onto the surface and these emotions will be coming from the deepest of our soul so you might experience the need to release lot of things so you may went out you can write you can do any kind of releasing for example connecting with the rain and setting an intention that i want to release whatever is unwanted feel it release it and heal it you can write it down and burn it also you can start any kind of dance form you can dance daily for some time on any spiritual songs or any uh, god songs especially shiva songs you can also experience the need to connect more with yourself to be in solitude so don't shy away from doing that take more time out for yourself and connect more with yourself as you keep on doing this you will experience more insights coming and these insights will be very deeper level which can 
ट्रांसफॉर्म योर लाइफ कंप्लीटली इनटू अ न्यू डायरेक्शन इनटू अ हायर डायरेक्शन और पर्सपेक्टिव इफ यू फील लाइक क्राइंग क्राई आउट बट वेंट आउट दोज इमोशंस बिकॉज इवन इफ यू से दैट इमोशंस आर नॉट लाइक वेरी हायर डायमेंशनल थिंग और वी नीड टू गो बियॉन्ड अवर इमोशंस बट टू डू दैट वी हैव टू एक्सपीरियंस all the emotions we need to heal them let them go with unconditional love this unconditional love has to be with yourself and with the world so lot of chaotic emotions might come out and how do we heal that with forgiveness with unconditional love now what do we mean by unconditional love because during this time lot of things might come out which were hidden from last many years or many thousands of years many wrongs which have done and it has to be corrected but how it is to be done it is completely upon us we have two choices either we need to dwell in the anger the revenge frustration and we need to be caught up in the same cycle and the second option is we need to accept whatever has happened we need to correct it but not with the violence or chaos but with peace with forgiveness and with unconditional love and unconditional love will only come when we experience all the emotions we release them we heal them and we become a detached observer yet we know that we all are one we all are divine beings so let us try choosing the second option of unconditional love first for ourselves and also for the world outside and when we hold this unconditional love within each of us this world will definitely become 
रेडिएटिंग अनकंडीशनल लव फॉर एवरी वन आई थिंक आई हैव डिलीवर्ड ऑल द मैसेजेस I hope this video helps sending you lot of love light and peace thank you for watching the video